I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. There. 
You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. 
need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. stuff I had to get through a bunch of them to get here that's how we'll get out of Savannah Sure. Just a little more. It's so gross. <sighs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe.
wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Oui. I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. Oh, we got away. They're dead, for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You're just learning, huh? Never let yourself get trapped. Okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't, I won't. I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> get up, Lee. The door is right here. I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I... I can't leave you! Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked! It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a chair over there. A 
there's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. Watch out! It's only one 
think you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You could leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Please. It's time to go. You gotta get out of here. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. The noise we be. They already know we're in here. You don't need more of them. It's like with Larry, honey. He was going one way or another, but at that moment I couldn't do more violence. You have to be careful about that. It'll consume you. I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Find Domit and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. Oh. 